All right, I'm live. Hi guys, thank you for coming by. It's Tori Magoo 44. Today is April 11th, 2024. And uh, my brother's birthday is coming up. It's April 14th. So to my brother, happy birthday if you see this. He's going to have a huge bash. It's going to be really fun. So that should be good. He always has a good birthday. Hey, howdy, Tori. Hi, howdy, Cloud Zach. All right. You got somebody. All right. Love it. Oh, thank you for coming on. I definitely need you. I have got to get this in my head to call you ahead of time, but thank you. Verity. Hi, Miss Story. Thank you, Lulu. Hi, each of you for coming on. Kaz Kaz gone. All right. Remember to tell me where you're from. Pennsylvania. All right. One love. Cool. Cassie. Hi. Yeah. So you have to let me know where you're from, Cassie, because I I know a Cassie when I lived in Florida. There was a Cassie that lived across the street. And I always think, I wonder if it's her. It was Cassie Friday. That was her last name. Her, her husband's name was Bill Friday. Texas. Okay, probably not. Okay, well, anyway, thank you for letting me know. So tonight I am going to talk about gaslighting. And, and is Scientology gaslighting me again? They, I, for, hi, from San Bernardino. All right, cool. YRB. Yeah, you're close. San Bernardino is close to LA, right? Hey, hey, Gnomestead, my Alaska life. All right. That is cool. I, I found someone, I don't even know where. Confident Chris, is he here? Oh, Confident Chris, hi. Free Tory, you goofball. <laughs> Hi, we have to free you first. Everybody's like, free Chris, free Chris. And I, I don't even know when that started, but it's it's rolling. All right, Portland, Oregon. Hey, Carrie Ann, thank you. Drifter Shelly, that's good. You're drifting. I like that. So um, how are you guys doing tonight? Hopefully well. Hopefully you had a good day. Today was what day? Wednesday. So tomorrow is Thursday, and then Friday. Then we have the weekend. Um, fairly close, but not but far enough. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Port Portlandia. All right. Hi, Linda. So um, I had mentioned this on uh, DOA's site. I was just chatting with them. What happened at my house? And they said, "Oh, you got to go live. You know, let's talk about it." So. Anyway, I'm I, I'm going to do the Midnight at Magoo's with Magoo, Midnight with Magoo anyway. So I figured, all right, I'll tell you guys about it. Because you know they've been gaslighting me for 24 years, right? You know, it's been off and on, off and on, depending on, you know, when, how hot a topic is, or if I do an interview, something like that. So, suddenly someone broke into my car and... Yeah, they just do, they always do just a little bit. If you, if you don't know what gaslighting is, watch the movie Gaslight, because it really, really clarifies it. 19 so far, keep hitting, hitting. The, okay, good. All right. Th yeah, thumbs up. Make sure to like the video. Thank you. All right, Alberta, California. Okay, good. Good. Or is that, is that Canada? I think it's Alberta, Canada, right? Um, okay, so Gaslighting, if you haven't seen it, it's it's a really good movie. And it shows how basically this guy is trying to drive this lady insane. You know, just with little things. It's always with little things. And that's how OSA is. They don't do big things because you could call the police, right? So they just do little things. So yesterday I did the interview with... Um, <laughs> And that guy last night was so rude. He was like, well, it couldn't, it couldn't have been meant much to you because you can't remember her name. And I'm horrible with names. I am. I, and, and I do. I remember her name, but I can't remember it now. <laughs> Let me see. What's her name? The, the lady that I did the interview with yesterday. She's a wonderful lady who does all the morning. Natalie. That's right. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just awful with names. I really am. But and Natalie, for some reason, I have a hard time remembering it. I don't know. It's kind of an, it's not really that unusual a name, but for me, 
somehow I have a hard time remembering it, but I really like her a lot. And I talked to her on the phone today because I had warned her. I said, you know, there's a thing that could happen. And, and it did, you know, and, and I, so I called her today just to say, I warned you, I told you. And she said, yeah, that's amazing. Because anyway, that's a different thing. But um, we talked, she read part of my 25 step program to muzzle Tori. That was the goal. The, the, the written goal was to muzzle Tori. That was the goal. And uh, they don't like that when, you know, because this is the church wrote it. Do you see what I mean? And it's a 25 step creepy step, creepy steps, you know, like having Harold call the Better Business Bureau, having someone else fake like they're a, a, someone where I worked at the time. And, you know, it's just one thing after another. But one of the things I loved in it that I had not even really read when I read it the first time, but I reread it listening to her and I went, oh my God. I mean, for years, this lady came on ARS, which was what we all chatted on all religion Scientology, which was the, the chat board back then. Linear, you know, one topic after another. And this lady would come on and just write lie after lie after lie about me. And her name was Barbara Schwartz. And she just showed up one day and just hated me. And I was like, how could you hate me so much? You've never even met me. You don't know me. What's up? Right. And other people, other critics, which was really, I'm sure, Osa, would just dive in and agree with her. And Tori's horrible. And, you know, just it just went on and on and on for literally over a couple of years. And I kept trying to say, look, this is Osa. I mean, who else would come on here that's never met me and just slime me to death day after day, week after week? month after month. And, you know, so finally one of the ex-Scientologists said, you know what, I'm going to track her down. And she did. She tracked her down. Good morning. Hi. Hi to all of you. Um, okay. You didn't realize that I had so many amazing videos. <clears throat> yeah. It's, I actually, since, 2000, since 2008, that's when I started making videos for YouTube. Um, so anyway, She's coming on there, writing all these lies. They're saying it's not Osa. It's just me imagining it, right? And here it is in a written program. Get Schwartz to do X, Y, and Z, things that upset Tori. And, you know, it's like I knew she was. But this one lady said, look, I'm going to find her. And she did. She tracked her down. She knew how to trace her computer. And she found where she was. She was in a library. And so she went to see her. She wanted to physically see her. And she said she looks like a homeless person. Our guess was that Sci OSA, Scientology, was paying her to basically third party me, you know, say really creepy things about me. She's type three. Okay, this person. Oh, interesting. You know her? Farm 13, 909. You know Barbara Schwartz? Or you're just saying that because of what you've read about her? She probably is, She, you know, and type three is just like crazy, you know, where she should be on some kind of medication to help her. But, you know, I don't have a lot of empathy for the woman, I have to tell you, because she really, really, really just kept at it for a long time and got a lot of other people in, in it, you know, against me. And so I, you know, I have like a PhD in, in bullies, you know what I mean? That's the way I feel. It's like, that is what Scientology has given me. And like tonight, I, or this morning I woke up and I look out my window and there's my garage door open. And this is a door that my old roommate had a, think of a garbage can, like a big, big garbage can filled with bottles that he was going to do for gardening. And they ended up, now they're all filled with water. And so it's really heavy to push. So I said, let's just push that against that door. That'll keep it shut, right? Because I didn't want it. I wasn't ever going to open it. And it hasn't been open for years. So now I do that interview with Natalie. And what do you know? This morning I wake up and there's the garage door open. And it's not just open a little bit. It's open. And that, that big, heavy, heavy thing that's very heavy to move is way out away from it. And to the point where my roommate even just called me and said, you know, what happened last night? Why is the garage door open? And I said, 
you know, it's probably has to do with Scientology because I made this video and, uh, you know, they, they, they want to basically say, don't speak out. You know, that's it. You know, if you keep doing this, we're going to do that. And it's like, okay, and I'm going to keep reporting it to the Burbank police. That's what's going to happen in Scientology. Just so you know, I don't fuck around on this. Pardon my language. I know I'm not supposed to say that on YouTube anymore, but it slips out. So I'm sorry if it offends anybody. But I'm going to start. I, I have for years kept a, a written record of all your little gaslighting, idiotic things that you do because it's embarrassing. You know, it's embarrassing that you try to be a church and then you do stuff like that. And you'll go, oh, we didn't do it. She can't prove it. Who else would do it? You know, it's like I told you with my car, they sprayed half of my rear view mirror pink. And as I'm driving along, I'm thinking, is, did some gang members break in my car or is this Scientology? And it falls off. So now it's broken. And I'd already talked to Pep Boys and I said, look, you know, I got out of this church and they they really do wacky stuff. And I don't know much about cars. And he goes, OK, so if you have any trouble, bring it over. I'll help you. So I said, OK, so I went to Pep Boys. I got the guy and I said, something happened. And I, I don't know if it's Scientology or a gang. And he goes, all right, let me take a look. And he opens the door. He shuts the door. He goes, it's the Church of Scientology. And I said, how do you know that? And he goes, because a gang would have taken your radio. You have a really good radio and you have some stuff in the back. A gang, would, believe me, a gang would have stripped much more off your car than they did. So it's Scientology. You know, and I had that, that happened all around my neighborhood. I kept my neighbors alert on it and they would warn me on stuff. So it is creepy. It's very creepy. And it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing that this is the stuff they do. And the only reason I'm talking about it is because I think you guys, a lot of people hear about stuff like this, but it's like, this is a real thing that happened. Do you see what I mean? And this is the kind of shit that they do. It's just like this nitpicky, gaslighty, you know, I'm supposed to go, oh, okay, I'll never talk again if you don't do that again. It's not going to happen, Scientology. You've already done your 25-step program trying to muzzle Tori, and that was an epic fail. And we read it last night. And you know what? I might read it every month. That's what I might do, is do a video every month and read that stupid, idiotic program or any other ones. Paulette Cooper, where you try to put her in prison, for God's sakes, because she wrote a book about you. You know, it's like, I think I will, because I really think this is a key thing that people don't really understand about you, because you've got Tom Cruise and John Travolta, and I like John Travolta, I do, but, but um, hi, good evening, Sophie, hi, um, your language reminds me of myself, no need to apologize, the F word is an adjective when you feel frustrated, yeah, it, it is, it is an adjective. Um, but anyway, that's what happened. And I'll go down and report it to the Burbank police and Scientology. You can go down and report how crazy I am, which is part of your program. Make sure that everybody knows I'm crazy, but you know what? It hasn't worked. It just doesn't work. I'm not crazy. And it's like, if you, I always say this to people because they go, I'll be out on the street talking to people and they'll go, well, you know, and you can see it's sort of like, well, how do I know whether to believe you or Scientology? And I know I've said it before, but just in case somebody's here that didn't hear it, I want you to realize this is a great thing to say to people because people don't know, you know, how do you know whether Scientology is telling the truth that it's so great or you're telling the truth that it's really creepy and they do this gaslighting stuff and other stuff, you know, fair game. <clears throat> and I said, well, here's the deal. It's an easy test. I can talk to anybody, anytime, anywhere. You can get David Miscavige, bring him over to my house. I'll talk to him. I am not afraid of him. Scientologists are terrified of me. Why? Because they declared me a suppressive person, which was something Hubbard came up with way, way back in the 60s. And you declare someone a suppressive person and their only terminal is the International Justice Chief via the Continental Justice Chief. And yeah, I show it a lot because I'm the only one that has one. Most people don't have them. A few people do, but not many. So I show people because I want them to see it really is real. They really declare people suppressive. No one is allowed. Like Easter, I said to the cops, because they, they said, you're trespassing. And I said, look, here's the deal. They owe me a million bucks. And my only terminal is one person. 
So either get me the million bucks or get me the one person. And, th and I was talking to two women and she said, you know, that's not going to happen today. And I said, and you know what? That's what they say every day. So today is the day I'm going to stand here until you either get me a million dollars or you get me that one person. You're a policewoman, and I think you have that power to do that. And she looks at the men and she goes, just leave her alone. <laughs> it was really, really a win for me because, I mean, obviously they can't, but it was, it was just a fun way of, you know, talking to them and letting them, it's like, don't run this trespassing shit on me. They owe me a million bucks. You know what I mean? And the women got it. It's like a million dollars is a lot of money that somebody owes and they won't even talk to you. Not okay. Oh, so not okay. And now you're going to break into my garage. Mm -mm. Not okay. And if I have to get the media out here, I will. I'm not going to right now, but you keep doing stuff like this and believe me on this. And they're all around me. Disney is two blocks away. Warner Brothers is three blocks away. You know, it's like Universal is about a half a mile away. You know, it's like I have media all around me. And they're always looking for juicy stories. And you know what? We have a bunch of them. We do. When you think, when you add up the broken families, when you add up the suicides, when you add up the deaths, when you add up all the creepy things that happen in your little Truman Show, it it's I think it's time again. They 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 did come out and do some articles when Anonymous was around, and then they kind of went back in their cages and they don't say anything again. But um, I think it's time that we start talking to the media again because you guys are creepy. You know all this swatting that's ridiculous. You know that's costing the taxpayers thousands of dollars. <clears throat> that's unneeded to be used and you're just, you're doing it. You're causing it. Yeah. I know the media, should, they won't love this story, but I'm just saying, you know, if you do more, that's what's going to happen. So there you go. And I do need to get a security system. I know that that's what the, the kids on um, DOA site said. And I don't really have one yet. But I will as soon as I get enough money. You know, it costs money to get these things. And so I will. I will eventually. But I, I don't have a lot of faith in it. You know, it's kind of like, I don't know, Scientology. If they don't get you one way, if they want to get you, they're going to get you one way or the other. So go for it, Scientology. Do Give it your best shot. And you know what? It just makes me want to be over there tomorrow. That's all that happens. That's exactly what happens. You open up my back garage door thinking, let's fuck with Tori a little bit. So maybe the next time she won't do that article. Wrong. I'm going to do that article once a month so that people can see and read. Because not everybody's on this show, but they're going to get it and they're going to read it. And I'm going to, if I can, I'm going to send it around to other so people can see how disgusting, how deep you can go. I mean, even um, Natalie was just shocked. It was like, you know, and she knows a lot about stuff they've done. But when you read this program, it's just unbelievable. It really is. So anyway, there you go. They're feeding the beast for sure. <clears throat> Did they take anything? I, I have no idea. I, you know, it's not like it's all organized or anything. So I have no idea. They could have. And they're welcome to it. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, you know, I, I doubt it. I don't think so. They're not going to steal because then you could call the police. So I, I know that I know their drill. You know, it's just enough to get you worried. It's not enough that you could call the police. And I talk to the police anyway, because every, every time you do this stuff, I write it up to them. And they know it. I've explained fair game. They understand it. They're on my side. They, they get it. And so, and they know that, um, you know, they know that it's like, it's not right. It's just not right. That's all there is to it. I don't have to say anything more than that. It's just not right. I'm a single person here. I have a roommate, thank goodness, because of you guys, frankly, if I didn't have to worry about Scientology, I wouldn't have to have a roommate, but I'm not going to live here by myself with you, you idiots. You know, who, who knows what they would do, but believe me, we're prepared. 
Anyway, um, so I'm going to go up here to the top. Ooh, I know this. I'm not sure. Somebody's coming in, I think, tomorrow. She's going to help me with this. And then hopefully I get I learn how to do it the right way. So I'm not sure. But look at all your howdies and hellos. That is so sweet. I love that. All right. Free Tory Confident Chris. Woo He's a popular guy. Hi, Tori. Hello from, but you didn't send me an email, just so you know. You didn't send me an email. And here is my email, just in case you missed it. My name, Tori, T O R Y, Christman, like Christ man, 44 at gmail.com. So, Confident Chris, <clears throat> you were supposed to send me an email last night, and I didn't get one. Okay, Thursday here in Australia. Wow. Amazing. Unbothered Queen. Thank you. That's right. I mean, after the shit I've been through, you have no idea. I mean, with that Barbara Schwartz, it was such a great win for me. This this happened in 2000. It was probably 2005 when she came around. It's now 2024. It's almost 20 years later. And I'm finally getting confirmation, despite all these morons, which were probably mostly Osa, coming on, agreeing with her. Yeah, Tori, yeah, she's this, and she's a liar, and she's a cheat, and she's this and that. It's like, F you. You know what I mean? It's like, I knew it was them. My friend went and confirmed it was her and said she's she's she thought she was um, homeless and probably had very serious mental problems. She said from just talking to her, she could tell she was not doing good. So that you would use someone like that who's homeless and has mental problems, and you would pay them to go on an internet and slime someone that you know is good. You know I am. You know that the things you write about me are lies. It's really creepy Scientology. And you want to be a church? Not on your life. No, not going to happen. Not this lifetime. No. I'm 20 minutes outside Portland, Oregon. Okay, Hannah, cool. All right. Did you have a good day today? Yes, I did. I did have a good day. Despite, you know, this knucklehead stuff, I did. I I I love my life and I'm I'm happy with it. So there you go. So many Portland people. I know. That's kind of fun. Chris, can you not see me? Cassie said this. Look at this. There you go. She wants you to see her. There you go. Hey, all right. So people are saying hi to each other. 19. 19 likes so far. Thank you, Maria. I appreciate that. I really do. Yeah, keep hitting the like button because we're at 189 people here. Wow, that's cool. Good. All right. So hi, Tori. Sending love from Alberta. Is It's Canada, right? I mean, CA is usually California, I think. But I think Alberta, you're talking about Canada. I'm pretty sure. But anyway. It's always weird for me because like there's a Burbank, New York or something like that. You know, there's there's different areas that have the same name. So let me know. But I, I'm pretty sure Prairie Breeze 62. I'm pretty sure you're from Canada, but let me know. And here's Confident Chris. He's watching. All right, cool. Um, let's see. Okay, so you guys are talking to each other. <laughs> Tory Talkology. I don't know that that's a compliment, but anyway, <laughs> I like being a storyteller. I like that. Chris, can you do me a favor and unhitch me from your chat? What does that mean? Chris, can you do me a favor and unhitch me from your chat? I don't know. Maybe she, maybe you want to, you're still hitched up to the one before you were listening to Chris probably. Yeah, Gaslight is a great movie. It really is. If you haven't seen it, please make sure to watch that and The Truman Show, both of those. Um, Farm 13, hey there. Happy mud season. Okie doke. Uh, oh, Gregory. Okay, he's running late. Not got my coffee yet. Morning. Folks from South Africa, well, good morning to you and zoom away and start your day. That's a good phrase, huh? Zoom away and start your day. Please, your friends, when chatting, oh, yeah, 
this is a good thing that um, Love It is reminding everybody, please use the little squirrely thing. I forget the name of it. But please uh, chat with Tori in complete sentences. Thank you so much. Thank you. Love it. So good to have you here. It really is. Okay. Everybody said Natalie. Thank you. Um, Natalie Webster. Okay. And she's going to Clearwater for this big, they're having a big protest there. So that would be fun. That would be really fun. Good evening, Tori and chat. Pinch Becky OF's given. Wow. All right. Hannah. Okay, she's talking to somebody else. So I'm not supposed to answer that. Hi at all. I'm late to the party. I was watching Tori's videos from years ago in Boston. How oh, good. The Magoo dancing in Boston. That's one of my favorites. Bunker loves it too. It, it just it just turned out really fun. That one and the other one I love is Mark Bunker, and he's filming Mary DeMoss in Clearwater, and he does that you know, circular thing where he's going around in circles with the camera and she's going around with him, you know, going, you're this and you're that. It's really funny. And he's got the circus music playing. It's very funny. He's a clever guy. He's going to be on here. I talked to him tonight. He's going to be on soon, you know, with his own channel and stuff like that. Because I said, I said, you know what, Punky, because, you know, he and I have been friends forever. Oh, I think it's on the other page. But you know, the whole thing with all the um, live streamers, and most of the, you know, I think I'm the oldest. And I said, you need to come on Bunker, you know, he because he's like an older, he's an old G and OG also. Um, so, you know, from a long time ago. So he, he said, yeah, he will be soon. So that's good. Muzzle Tori, I hate to hear this. <laughs> Won't happen. Obviously. I mean, that was in 2005 or four and it's 2024. So they failed. I didn't realize Tori's YouTube got so many videos. Okay. Yeah. That's the one we said. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know that about Barbara Schwartz. And she, do you guys all know what type three is do you, in Scientology? That basically means you're crazy. And uh, I think that's probably true, but she wasn't totally crazy because she was well enough to write really hateful stuff about me over and over and over. But they must have paid her a lot of money because she was she stayed for a long time. And I could never convince anybody that, well, I mean, my friends knew it was Osa, but a lot of these people online that we didn't know who they were, a lot of them agreed you know, there was a lot of hatred going on back then. It was it was a spooky time. It really was. And thank God for Jesse Prince. I would call him up and go, Jesse, it's happening. And he'd go, all right, listen to me again. Step away from the stove. And that really helped me over and over and over. I was like, all right, step away from the stove. And I did. Hi, Chad. Hi, OT420. All right, Sandra. Hit the like button on your way in. Thank you, Panchi. Becky. OF's given. I like that name. Your supper. Okay, so now what did what are you saying here? Wow, that's some super sleuthing. Mm, I'm not sure what you what you think is super sleuthing, but you have to clarify what, what you're talking about. Half of you need to go hit the like button. Okay, so half the people have to hit like button. Wow, there's 206 people here now. Good. Hello. I don't know her personally. Okay, good. I'm glad for you you don't. Um, okay. Tori, who... And please put question in front of it. That really helps because otherwise I might miss it. Um, Tori, who was it that you first interviewed with on your YouTube some 10 years ago regarding your Scientology disconnection. It was a, it was a show that focused on ex-Scientologists. I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, the first person I, I, I didn't really interview him, but I talked to him was Mark Bunker because he helped me set up my YouTube site. So that was the first one. But I think you're probably thinking of an interview where it was like, uh, journalists or something like that. And I, who was the first, it was 10 years ago, it might've been Arnie Lerma, 
It might have been Arnie about disconnection. I think. I don't really know. I don't. I mean, it's 10 years ago is a long time for me. I don't really know. It was a show that focused on ex scientologists I don't know. But you can Google it if you want. Just put Tori Chrisman uh, interview about Scientology about disconnection and Scientology. I wouldn't put Scientology in there because then it brings up all the Scientology stuff. You know, it's like they've really got that rap now. I've noticed that. So I just leave out the word Scientology now. Send some funds for security cameras. Ah, that's, thank you. This is Rhett's fear. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, if anybody knows a, cam a security camera that they recommend, I would really appreciate it because I, I want to get a good one. Thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, okay. Yeah, we got that. Okay, about using a complete sentences. That helps. Good morning, beautiful lady. Thank you. Oh, no, you should get a security system. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. I think that's exactly what we were just talking about with. Um, shoot. I'm getting this. It's, it's tricky. Oh, come on. Who is it? Okay, here it was. This is the lady. She said, "Some sent some funds for security cameras. It's time. Thank you. I really appreciate that because I think with everything going on, it, you're probably right. It's time. It is because before it was just kind of me and, you know, a few other people. But now that we've got all these people doing this, oh, God, it's so great. I mean, it was like, you know, Jessica Palmer Dessa and Streets LA. That's who I first saw. And then it was Confident Chris showed up. And then Chris without a Hellcat who vanished after a while. But he was there. And then DOA and Laura. And now it's just boomed and boomed. And I think a couple of weeks ago, it was like maybe 20 of us. And then by the Easter barbecue, it was like 50. And now I heard it's over 100. So it's really great. I mean, and all of us are like really helping each other. So that's really great too. So thank you, Miss Red Sphere. That's cool. All right. Um, complicated last name. That's so funny. Good morning, beautiful lady. That is such a cute. Oh, Selma. Okay. Selma and a complicated last name. Okay. There you go. It's one way to put it. Um, okay, so it's creepy that the door was open. Well, it's even worse if you knew how heavy this thing was that we had in front of the door that was moved way out, and then the door was open. You know, it was like, wait a minute, who, you know, like I even said to my roommate, who's a big guy, and I said, well, maybe it was really windy last night, and I said, maybe the wind blew it, and he said, Tori, there is no, we'd have to have a hurricane to have a hur something move that black thing. I mean, that that's heavy. The thing's really heavy. So somebody did it. Anyway, it's always, that's a, also why it's good to have a roommate because it's a second opinion. Hello from North Carolina. All right. Hello. All right. And this is, what is this? Comment that is creepy about the garage door. But if they do anything to you, all the SPTV community is supporting you. Thank you. Okay. Well, I don't think they'll do anything to me. I hope not. But they have. In the past, they smashed me in the chest. They pushed me down the chairs in Ireland. I mean, I, I'm lucky I'm alive. Because honestly, if John McGee hadn't caught me, I would have been paralyzed, if not dead. You know, because it was that steep of a stairway. And the guy came around the corner and just shoved me. And I just was flying in the air and John McGee caught me, bless his heart. It's like, oh, God, I was spooky. 
So it, it goes to show you that, I mean, they, they couldn't care that much about life. You know what I mean? To push someone like me down the stairs to the point where I could have been paralyzed or dead. Now, what would they say then? Oh, she fell down the stairs? I mean, there were all these other critics and ex-Scientologists that were there. So I don't know. They're crazy. Burbank police cannot be bought. I know. Yeah, they, that's true. That's a good point. Love it. They're, they're really good. And they're on my side. They really are. Where Tori is the epitome of... <laughs> what is that? Well, Tori is the epitome of fuck around and find out. Yeah, true. Yeah, I am. You know, you do stuff, you're going to... I. That's what I did when I first started my YouTube site. I... I Right away they came on, and I knew it was Yachty and his friends, and they came on and started sliming me and how, whatever, putting me down. And so I made a video, and I said, I don't know whether you're some young kid in your parents' basement or whether you're Bill Yachty and the Office of Special Affairs, but either this stops or I'm going to ban you, I'm going to block you, and I'm going to report you. And, man, it didn't stop, but it slowed down. It definitely did. And I did block some of them because they, they wouldn't stop. And I was like, all right. I said, I'm from Chicago. I'm not from here. And in Chicago, we don't take stuff like that. No. Mm -mm. I said, this is what I said. You screw me once, and I'll screw you twice every single time. That's what happens. I've warned them. I've told them, I've told them that since 2000, every time you do something nasty to me, about me, have people say shitty stuff to me, hire Barbara Schwartz to wrote, write lies about me forever, you're going to feel it back, Scientology. I was sort of interested in some stuff. I was sort of like kind of half out of it. Now I'm into it. You know, it's just like, that's the way it is. Happens every time. I'm sort of like, eh. <clears throat> you know, I've kind of said enough. That's probably it. I'm done. No, not now. No, 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 no. That's what you do. And I told you that when I was in. I said, you create your own enemies. And then I told you when I was out on Magoo Dancing in Boston, I warned you, David Miscavige. I warned you. And here I am. You know, who would think I was going to leave? Like Spanky said, Tori, I thought you'd turn the lights off in Scientology. I really did. I thought you'd be the last person to leave. Me too. I did. I really did. So this is someone saying she's been a pro at it for years. I have I have been at it for years. That's that's for sure. And I've hung in there and into a her browser. Does she have an Amazon list? I don't I don't know how to make an Amazon wish list, but I um I first have to find out what's a good security camera. Because I don't want to buy one that's, you know, not good. Um, hi, beautiful Tori. Hi, Cindy. Uh, SP Ar Articus. I am. All right. And Maz. Let, what is she saying? Firm no gang. Steal cars. Not the contents. Okay. This doesn't make. Does this make sense to anybody else? E-R-M, no gangs steal. Oh, oh, gangs don't steal cars. No gangs steal cars, not the contents. I don't know. That doesn't that doesn't make sense to me. If they don't make steal cars and not the contents, I don't know. You don't think it's gangs? Maybe not. That's what the guy from Pep Boy said. It wasn't. But they do steal things from cars. I know that because I was in a gang area and they said, believe me, they'll have this car stripped in about 15 minutes. So they definitely steal things. <clears throat> but I worked it out. I said, I'll tell you what, you guys know I'm screwed and I'm here and I need your help. So you tell me what you want to eat and I'm going to go get it. And you guys huddle up and figure out what I can do with my car because I can't, I don't want to spend all the money to have my car towed from, I was way far away, back to my house in Burbank. But I can have my husband come tomorrow and we can work it out. So I said, you guys huddle it up. And these were like Bloods and Crips. They were like hardcore gang members. 
And I said, I'll go get some stuff for you to eat. And I wrote down a list. When I went with my son, we went and got the food, brought it back. And they said, okay, we got the plan. And I said, okay, what is it? And they looked so happy. You know, it was so interesting. When you give someone something to do instead of just making them wrong, they cheered up. You know, they were like really great. And they said, if you leave your car here tonight, it's going to be stripped in about 15 minutes. And that's it. That's what's going to happen. But we figured out what we can do. We're going to all put it in neutral, push it down to Sears. We can push it up into the Sears parking lot. And there's a guard there all night, 24 hours a day. And he'll guard your car. And then you can come get it tomorrow. And I gave him their food and that was it. You know, but it, it just, I always tell people that story because I just think it's such a good utilization of just doing the right thing instead of, you know, being terrified and, oh my God, I'm here with these bloods and crips and they're going to kill me or rape me or whatever. You know, it was like, no, let's get it together, man. You know, you know, I'm screwed and I know I'm screwed. So let's get that straight right away. And they all started laughing. They said, yeah, we know. And I said, so let's, let's figure out a solution for this. You know, and I thought people are in general, not everybody, but people in general are solution oriented. And if you ask them to help you, they often will, you know, because people like to, you know, we like to solve things. That's what we like to do. Not everybody, but a lot of people. And it's worth it. It's worth a shot. You know, I figured what's the worst that can happen? They'll strip the car and we'll get screwed. And there you go. But I, I know me, I'm good with people. And, and I just, I, I believe in people, I do. And so even if they're in a gang, I still believe in their hearts, they're good people. They, they're, they're stuck in this gang, just like Scientology. They're stuck in Scientology, but overall, they're good people. Most people in Scientology are. So, you know, we just have to get them out some way. We got to work it out. So anyway, there you go. I want to talk, wait. I'm talking too long. I want to talk to Jessica about doing a fundraiser to get her what she needs. Okay. Well, I would suggest, I don't even know. She's a difficult person to catch because she, she doesn't really talk on the phone and she doesn't really email. So I, I asked her once, I said, how do you guys all communicate? You know, how do you know where to find each other? And they said, we just check each other's, you know, their streams, like where they are. And it'll say, you know, we're, you know, you can watch it. You know, there goes DOA, he's taken off. And and then I'll ask the stream, I did it tonight. Where's he going? He, oh, he's going over to this thing, you know, because they all know because they've been there up for hours. It's very unusual. It's very difficult for me. But I don't know exactly um, I don't know exactly. How, I, I think probably go on her site and just mention that you would like to do a fundraiser to help her with something that she needs. I can't imagine what she needs because she's she's usually pretty self-sufficient. But anyway, give it a shot. Your language. <laughs> that was my language again. So be, it's good to see you from New Zealand. I love that. Imagine if another religion did this. Exactly. Imagine if another religion did this. It's insanity and the opposite of peace and love. Exactly. It's the opposite of what you think of religion. That's why I always tell people, they say it's a religion. I go, no, 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 no. It's a business. It's a mind control business shrouded by religion. But it is, they don't, they don't believe in God. And I always tell people that they don't believe in God. They don't believe in churches. They don't believe in Jesus. You know, just so you have a little bit of a framework on this, they're nothing like your churches that you're thinking of. And people go, wow, really? And I go, yeah. And then I go like this. Here's my card. It'll tell you all the stuff that they won't. Ha, 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 Scientology. Here it is. There you go. Have a card with some information on it, some data, something that will educate them on your creepy backstories. And this will be one of them. I'm going to add it to it. My favorite Tory moment was her asking for a million dollars. I know that was kind of a fun time. It really was for Easter. It, you know, it was, like Easter was in my heart. And you have to know this, you guys that watch the Easter thing. I'm an Easter person. Like I, I wasn't going to go because I said, no, the kids should be able to have Easter. And I don't want to be protesting with them having Easter. And then then I thought about it and I thought, well, 
if I could get over there, I'd like to see him. I Because I looked up DOA and there he was all by himself. He was setting everything up and he had all this stuff on a table out. And I thought, he is such a sweetheart. And and I thought, I, I can't just leave him there by himself. And I there was nobody else there. I think it was he and maybe one other girl was there helping him. And so I just said, happy Easter. And that's what he said. Get Tori over here. And I said, I have transportation problems. He goes, somebody get her an Uber now. Somebody get her an Uber. And then the lady from Arizona called me and said, I got an Uber account. What time do you want it to be there? You know, it was very sweet. But me, me asking for the million dollars, that's that came out because of my Easter feeling. Do you see what I mean? I don't, I didn't, you know, it was like I went in there and the police said, You're trespassing. And that's when I realized, okay, I have to communicate with them in some way so they're not going to have to throw me out. And so I said, look, I get it. You're standing on property where these people owe me a million dollars and they won't, they'll only let me talk to one person. So I want my million dollars or bring the one person and I'll talk to them. And the lady looked at me and she goes, well, you know, that's not going to happen today. And I said, you know, they say that every day. So today's your day. And I'm going to stay right here. And that's final. So get me the billion bucks or the IJC. And she looked at the red and she goes, just leave her alone. Just leave her alone. <laughs> it was really kind of great because they got it. They got it. The women got it. It was like, you know, they gave you a little smile. And they said, just leave her alone. Leave her alone. And I thought, I love that. Hey, hey, from the UK. Love my first morning SPTV. Wow, this is your first one? Oh, with me. Okay, so sorry they have done that to you and no need to apologize for swearing it's your channel. Okay, well, I I guess I, I someone told me, I, I don't know, that they had new rules that you couldn't swear or something like that. So I guess I'm kind of freaky on it. Hey, Osa, hey, hey, all right. The truth always wins. That's right. Tick tock, tick tock. Time is on our side. And I always say that's because the truth is on our side. And it is. And it always will be. 65 likes. Oh, good. Marla, thank you. She goes, 65 likes? There's something like 245 people in here. Come on, you guys. Hit the like button. You have to just hit the little X. And then behind this page is the like thing. If you don't see it right away, I don't know. Different different computers are different. But come on, let's let's get it out. Do you like Tom Cruise? No, I really don't. I like John Travolta. I don't like Tom Cruise. I I mean, he's too much of. Uh, I like him as an actor. I will say that in a few movies. I there's a lot of movies anymore now that now I don't really. But um, his early movies, I liked A Few Good Men, and I liked The Firm. I really, and I liked Top Gun. I did. I was kind of a Top Gun fan when he was, a, you know, when I was younger. But um, no, I don't really like him now. I think he's just too, I don't know what. He's too, too walking in David Miscavige's footsteps, you know what I mean? And not telling the truth. I mean, he needs to come out and go look. I didn't know what I was thinking. I, I believe these people, but now I've started listening to these different, he needs to start listening to all these different live streams and, and wake up and realize, wait a minute, this isn't what I thought it was. Cause see, that's the thing. That's what I said to Odo. I, I didn't know it was Odo. I thought it was just a CEO guy. And I said, you didn't get into Scientology to stop free speech. And I said a couple other things Then I sat down and then somebody said Odo. And that's when I went back to talk to him. But well, that guy is hung in there. I mean, we have talked to him a lot. Oh, this is nice. Thank you for what a nice compliment. This is from um, Kilko K. All right, Tori, you're one of the most sensible ex-Scientologists I've ever listened to. You're not crazy. Thank you. See, Barbara Schwartz? <laughs> no, I appreciate it. I really do. I, I, I work on it. <clears throat> you know, it's one of those things where, um, thank you. I appreciate it. Ki Is it Kiko? It's a cute name. Where are you from, Kiko? Let me know that. Search and destroy. What a mind flock this Scientology is. Yeah. 
That's why I wanted to mention it because this stuff has been going on with me for years and it's, it, you just get used to it after a while. It's, it, you know, like, um, Natalie was saying she and Aaron were talking about how just certain things, you know, people following you, you just get used to it. It's just like, okay, somebody's following me. It's, it's not like when they first are following you and it's like, someone's following me. I remember when Andreas came over here and he was like, oh my God, I've been waiting for someone to follow me for years and now they are. And we were, we were in the car together and I said, go in that driveway or go in that parking lot. And he zoomed in the parking lot. They zoomed in behind him thinking they, it was a, like an alleyway and they were caught. And we got all these pictures. Andreas took all these pictures, but he was so excited. It was really funny. He's a funny guy. All right. <clears throat> okay, this is at this point, Alexa. Alexa. Okay, Alexa. All right, at this point, the Office of Special Affairs is the definition of cringeworthy. Yeah, they are so petty, it's almost incredible. But now we know their stupid, sneaky little ways. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And, they, and the thing that's ironic is that, that Natalie and I were talking about is they keep doing it. You know, it's just like, there's no going back on this Scientology. These, this, the, the floodgates are open. I mean, they were open with anonymous, but anonymous you knew wasn't going to stay that long, you know, cause they just weren't, they were a section of anonymous and they stayed for a while and then they left. But What's going on now? I don't think it's the same thing. I don't think you're going to be able to chest these guys away. I think you think you are, but I don't think so. It's These are some very, very, very courageous people that care about people. And that's your downfall because you don't care about people at all. You really don't. And you've most of you have lost the ability to have compassion and love and care and ethics. You know, you don't know what ethics is. You couldn't see ethics of her hit you in the face. And most of us are pretty ethical. Believe it or not, we do what's right. She's got that shit laminated. <laughs> You're damn right I do. I'm the only person who got it. When I got it, I, I wanted it. I, I knew I was going to use it. I knew I was going to use it for months, if not years, if not many years. And I have. And it's been a great source of education for a lot of people on how bad they are. Um, yeah, I know. I feel bad for the kids raised with this bullshit, too. And uh, thankfully, there's not that many of them anymore that are. Um, you should get a scanned photocopy of that document. Believe me, I have it very carefully saved in a very good place. So, um, but thank you for thinking of that. I thought of that immediately. Um, okay. Good morning, Tori. <clears throat> All right, Mar Mar Marcy, I made it. <laughs> That's good. Well, welcome. <clears throat> and I love how you're so fearless. Thank you, Sophie. You kind of have to be. I mean, it's one of those things where I certainly didn't think I was going to, that was what I was in. But once I, I didn't even think leaving would be that big a deal. That's what was so ironic. I just thought I'll leave. I'm going to leave under the radar. I called Stacy on this phone. I said, look, I just want to make sure. And I know everybody's like, well, she has one of those old phones. And I do. Cause I, I got this for when I was doing interviews with journalists because these phones lasted longer than the old flip phones because they'd run out of juice right away. So I, I called Stacy and I said, look, I want you to know <clears throat> I'm not going to make videos. I'm not going to speak out. I'm not going to pick it. I'm just leaving under the radar. And had they just let me do that, I would have probably not be here. You know, I would have been in a whole different life. But that didn't happen. From LAX to Tampa, like I've said, I became an activist because they showed me how creepy they are. They showed me all the stuff that all the kids had told me they do. And I was like, no, they don't do that. Yeah, they do. They showed me. <laughs> okay, so we already know 
Kristen Dunst is going to play Tori in this. In this no, it isn't. It's going to be Jamie Lee Curtis. We already talked about that last night. You weren't here. Okay, Sophie. What did Sophie say? Where did she go? She slipped away. Sophie, the entire current cast of protests is absolutely awe-inspiring. Awe yeah. The media is sus. The modern-day media is garbage. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing. I mean, really, we're the media. You know, that's the way I look at it. It's like we we need to, you know, educate the public because the media is not going to do it because they're afraid of Scientology too, you know, because Scientology will threaten to sue them and stuff. Hi, Minnie Angel. I'm glad you're here. Hello from New Jersey. My kids are sick. So glad to have you to keep us company. Oh, well, I hope your kids get better fast. I wonder when DM will finally go into hiding. Ha <laughs> ha. I think he's pretty close. I do. I mean, he, I, I don't know if you listened to Aaron, but he read something where I, I don't even, I, I don't know it. I, cause I just got caught at the end of it, but it was something like, I'm not the COB and I'm not this. And I'm not, I don't run RCC. And it was like, really? I mean, when did all this happen? It was like, Whoa. I mean, it was big time, heavy duty, you know, I don't have anything to do with it. Scientology. Not me. You know, I don't run it. No. <laughs> Good luck on that, pal. Yeah, unfortunately, you got too many people that have been working for you for too long. And they're out. I'm from the UK, too. I love catching Tori first thing. Oh, hello. Hi. And enjoy the UK. That's a good thing. Okay, this is cool. Uh, Easter was epic, especially when the tent flew down. Yeah. The higher power was on your side. Yeah, I know. That was kind of fun. It really was because I was right there with the security. And I was just like, think about it. Don't worry, Tori, we're going to get it ASAP. Woo. <clears throat> well, thank you. You don't have to. I'm, I'm not doing this asking you guys to get me something. I'm just asking. I want to tell you so that you realize this kind of stuff does happen. And it and it's creepy. You know, and, and, and how creepy it is. You know, it's just creepy. Don't you think? I mean, can you, can you see how creepy it is to wake up in the morning and have this big, heavy thing that's like, Probably, I don't know if it's a ton, but I mean, it's it's really heavy. And have it be way away from the garage, the garage door open that's never open. It's like, okay, what happened there? Friday, Tori, and I will create an Amazon wish list. Okay, good. That's right. Love it's coming. I forgot. Thank you. <clears throat> and that's wonderful. That, that'll help. Okay, yeah. So exciting to see you. Hi from Seattle. Oh, that's nice. You're doing a great job. Love you. Again, big thanks from a never in walk. I don't ever call people walks. I hated that term because it's Scientologists use it in such a put down way. But I understand you're saying it in probably a joking way, but but I don't use it because I just think it's really it's really racist. It turns out it was from Africa and they and it was a put down thing there. <clears throat> Hubbard said it was wise old gentleman. But the way Scientologists used it, you knew it wasn't. You know, it was just like, oh, he's just a wog. Oh, she just works for a wog. Oh, her parents are wogs. You know, it was just always like, it's just so icky. And so to me, I'm just like, mm -mm. no, I don't use it. I never did. I mean, I can't say I never did, but I, since I've left, I've really gone, no, I'm not going to use that. Um, Sorry, my throat's getting scratchy. Okay. They're feeding the beast. Did you take... I don't know if they did. That's a good question. Did they take anything from the garage? I don't know. I, there's so much stuff in there, it's hard to tell. But I don't think so because, like I said, I, then I could really call in the police and they don't want that. So I doubt it. He hasn't sat down for a proper media interview more than 30 years now. 
That's as close to stealth as it gets. I don't know, Aleska, who are you talking about? I don't know who you're talking about. TG, he hasn't said, I don't know who TG, unless you mean, who are you? I don't know who you're talking about. Let me know. I'm trying to find a question. Oh, I wonder when DM is finally going to go hiding and disappear like Elrond. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, Miscavige. Probably. <coughs> I don't know who TG is. Hit the like button for Tori, please. Thank you, Martha. <coughs> the sensor light is great to install, too. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I used the cell security, and that was a very good thing, the sensor light. If one of us neighbors have a security camera, they may have footage of whomever opened your garage. Yeah, I kind of don't think they they have kind of big, um, what do you call them, fences on both sides. So I doubt it. We need, never mind Shelly, where is David? T-shirts, that's a good one. That's a, that'd be a good one. Never mind Shelly, where's David? <laughs> That would be a good t-shirt. It really would. That is a smart idea. Julie, don't worry about being late. Somebody said I went to bed early? In what world? Listen to me carefully. I go to bed every night at either 1 or 2, but never before then. I'm a night owl. That's why I'm having Magoo, Midnight with Magoo. That's how it started. Because I thought, well, maybe there's a couple other night owls. And here you guys are. It makes me so happy. I can't tell you. The strange thing is, here's somebody saying something. The strange thing is the cult has no understanding of the excuse by language. The wog world also needs to get a clue. Yeah, <laughs> famous last words. Also needs to get a clue. Do your neighbors have cameras? No. Um, it's definitely not right, Tori. That's right. I've got a couple of Wi-Fi cameras that I use for home security. <clears throat> They're really cheap on Amazon. Only cost me each. And the image at night is great. Okay. Okay. That's good. Can, can you send me the name of them? Because that's what happens. I go on there and it's just like... Um, Here's my email. If you could send me that and put the Y YouTube, you know, YT, so I know to just scroll. I look down and find it, and I haven't found any. I don't think anybody's emailed me. But anyway, if you would email me um, what you have, the name of it, and, you know, like kind of the brand, that kind of thing, that would really help. Ah, you're listening while doing homework. Good, Miss Scorp. From Arizona. That's cool. Well, this is good. So great to watch alive. Well, that's good. <clears throat> okay, here's someone. I'm from Florida. Are you excited about seeing the Clearwater event? I would have been excited if I was going to it. I Seeing it, uh, yeah, it'll be fun to see it. Clearwater is a funny area for me. I was there for seven years, suffering away on OT7. So it's not exactly my favorite area. And I just think, you know, they have the injunction out against me and Bunker, where if we go on, you know, if we protest on their side of the street, they can arrest us at any moment, or if we're within 10 feet of any Scientologist. Now, Bunker doesn't give a shit about it. But to me, it's just sort of like, I don't want to go there anyway. It's humid. I hate humidity. So, I don't know, not really, but I'm glad they're going to all have a good time. They will. I know they'll have a great time. I, um, and, and I'm happy they're all getting together. Portland protester here. Okay, Lisa's day off. Good. Question. Okay. Were your children also in Scientology? If so, did they li leave with you? Uh, I only have one child. It's a son. 
and he, I got him out before I woke up. So I, someone, one of his friends killed himself and I had to let him know. And then I said, look, you know, this is awful. You know, I don't know what's going on that somebody would take their own life about Scientology. But if you don't want to do it, just say the word and that's it. And he said, I don't want to do it. And I said, that's it then. It's done. That's a wrap. And even Steve Hassan, who's a cult expert, said, you know, I don't think I've ever known anyone to be that, you know, strong to say that. But my son means more to me than Scientology. He really does. And I had seen enough of the crappy side of them that I was waking up. Do you know what I mean? And it was like I knew I had to get him out. And so I did. And so then when I came out, it was much. So that's why you see pictures of us all the time because we get together. You got high enough fences for a dog, Tori. <laughs> are you saying, are you telling me that or you're asking me? You got high enough fences for a dog, Tori. Okay, well, let me know if you're telling me that. Because if you're telling me that, that means you've been around my house. In which case, you need to come over and say hello. Because I don't want people just snooping around. And if you're just saying you got high enough fences for a dog, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying, but let me know. And I don't, I don't, I can't have a dog here. So there you go. So even if I could have a dog, I can't have a dog. Watching from Alabama. All right. That's, that's in the, in the Southern area. I haven't seen any bickering. Love it. Love your gossip free zone reply. Thank you. I think you're talking to, gov to love it, but she's she's good at what she does. She really is. And we both agree we don't want, you know, big. I mean, that one night, I think it was last night or the night before when there, there was no moderators. Oh, what a nightmare. And those creepy guys just kept coming on. It was like, oh, my God. It was something else. It really was. It's like, so anyway, I really appreciate it. Hello, my queen. Love from Puerto Rico. All right. That's cool. Puerto Rico. My heart is breaking. There you go. I love Puerto Rico. Okay. Love the Truman Show. Great movie. Thank you. Just tuning in. Good evening, my loves. Nico Yeg Squirrel. Okay. There you go. Have to say hello to everybody. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. That's from my grandfather. I told you he's he was a really good st storyteller, and so was my dad. And yeah, exactly. Why am I not surprised? Osa resorted to using homeless person with mental health issues. The most ethical group on the planet. Not exactly. I mean. But I can't tell you how refreshing it was. I didn't even hear it during our conversation because I don't even think she brought it up. Anyway, so, somewhere she mentioned it, and I, I either didn't hear it or it just went over my head, and I listened to it again and went, because she said Schwartz. That's what it was. She didn't say Barbara Schwartz, and her name was Barbara Schwartz. And so then I re-listened to it, and I went, it's Barbara Schwartz that was in that program way back when. Ah, oh, it was such, it's one of those things that hangs you up forever. And it's just such a final, yes, it was Osa. I knew it was. I knew it was, but it's it's tricky when a lot of people go against you on it. But they were probably all yachty. You know what I mean? Just being different identities and saying, oh, that's not true, Magoo. You know, you're just making it up. You failed, Yachty. Epic fail over and over and over. And you too, Miscavige. I know you think you had a big win today. It's not a win. It's not a win at all. It's just another thorn in your Truman Show. And eventually it's going to just collapse in. That's it. Have I gone to the FBI? I'm part of the FBI. I'm a CIA agent. You didn't know that. That's what Scientology says. No, but I, I am in at the FBI for uh, the top secret mafia thing. Some some the critics back then went to the FBI and 
showed me that my name is in it. It was tricky. I could hardly read it because it was all blacked out and stuff like that. So I don't know. But no, I, I'm i not going to go to the FBI over my door being open. No. It's like they, they do too much stuff that's just gaslighting stuff. If you watch the movie Gaslighting, you'll understand it's very hard to, you know, that's why I brought in my community because I thought I, it, the police can't do anything because there's no way to prove it. But with the with the town, they can do stuff. And they have. They've really helped me. It's been really cool. Um, now, this is someone saying, Tori, your storytelling is divine. Listening to you is like chatting with a good friend. Oh, that makes me feel good. Thank you. That's a very nice thing to say. Thank you so much. One love. That's a nice name. It, and one love, 51,000? Wow. Okay. Who else was Alberta? Who, who else was Alberta, California? Me too. Okay. It's not California. It's Canada, right? What do you guys have to say? It's Alberta, Canada. Just let me know that, that that's what it is. All right, comment, Tori. Oh, okay. This is good to know. All right, so talkology is a compliment. Confident Chris puts ology on the end of each word he's emphasizing or wants to highlight. Okay. All right. Well, he, he's a good guy. All right, here's a question. Let's see what this is. Or have you sent in an IRS complaint? Jeffrey Augustine had some suggestions for people owed money and who have been fair game. Your submission alone would be a huge and so well documented. Okay. Um, I don't think I have, but uh, I'll talk to him and get the forms or whatever it is that I need to fill out. Um but I might have because I filled out something where it was something about that. So I'll ask him and see. Hi, Tori. I've been training to be a night owl so I can watch you. Oh, that's sweet. That's really sweet. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Welcome. And I'm glad you're here. This is a good group of people, huh? Yeah. I made a live good day from Delinquent, Australia. Woo. All right. There you go. That's, that's an interesting name. Okay, question. Do you know if Mary DeMoss ever got out of the cult? I don't. I don't. I think Bunker said she did, but I I really don't know for sure. Tori will have an Amazon wish list by Friday. All right, because she's coming on Friday. For now, her PayPal, et cetera, are listed in her channel. Thanks, lovelies. Oh, that's nice. And this is a thing that um, DOA and Laura came over and helped me with it. There's that. The Cash App is there. And PayPal is there with my wrong spelled name, DOA. I feel bad for him. He'll never live that down. And I've tried to change it. They won't answer me. So anyway, Venmail, there's that. So any one of those, if you want to feel like, if you feel like donating, that would all obviously help. Um, way to go, Casey. All right, so what did Casey do? Oh, wow, here we go. Nice. Since I'm an Amazon sponsor for CC, I'm sure he would like me to purchase a couple things for her. So I will keep an eye out for it. Thank you. That's cool. I don't know who, do I know CC? I don't think I do. But anyway, you're a sponsor for him. So that's good. Thank you. That, that would definitely help. All right, excellent. Now I've got a zoom down here. Um, yeah, the sensor lights, that's a thing to remember. Ah, uh, this is nice. This is really a nice comment. I mean, odd how well you're doing with the new technology. Hats off. I hope you feel so supported by the whole SPTV nation. 
that loves you. Big hugs from the Netherlands. I do. I really do. I tell my friends all the time. It's like you, you and, you know, I told my son, I said, you know, they're just such wonderful people. I mean, everyone that I've met has just been really kind and caring and loving. And, you know, it's really, it's really been great. It's really been great. Jezebel, all right, 15 years. Thank you. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. It really does. It's, it's a big deal. Oh, I'm almost at 25 subscribers, 25,000 subscribers. Oh, that's cool. Please share our beautiful Tori with your friends. Yeah, and see if you can get them to subscribe. That'd be so fun to get up to 25,000. Because I tell you, Osa hates it when my subscriptions go up. I It's like, oh. The, and there's nothing you can do, Osa, because these are wonderful people. They're going to keep going. That's upsetting to hear how Scientology has treated me. Yeah, they've they've been creepy for a long time, a long, long time. I mean, but you know what? They've truly molded me into an activist that I would have had no plans of being. But because of the stuff they do and keep doing, guess who's still here? You know, I'm 76. You know, I never thought at my age, but I love it. I mean, I'm really having a good time. I love all of you. I love being around you. I just think it's fantastic. And, you know, my brother's so cute. He's like, this is so great. You know, anyway, we're, it's fun. He's 82. And my yeah, my younger older brother's, his birthday is the 14th. So it's coming up. It's like 12, 13, 14. Yeah, three days. And uh, I think he's going to be, I don't know how old he's going to be. He's a year older than I am, so whatever that is. Who's looking out for you? Huh? Okay, what does that mean? Who is looking out for you? Oh, my dad. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I think so. That I always feel that. that he, that's why I took that name, because that was his nickname. Oh, yeah, I forgot to un, unhook this thing. Wait. Ooh, how do I do that? Oh, I go back here. There we go. And then I go back to the comments. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. No way. Well, how do I get rid of the Venmo thing? All right. Let's go to the banners thing. There's Venmo. Unclick it. Okay. There we go. Then you go to the comments. I'm learning. I told you guys it's a process. It really is. Um, yeah, I think Magoo is. Thank you, Mer Merzi. Marzi? Merzi? Merzi dates. All right. Okay, Sophie, that's so unhinged to push you down the stairs. I'm so glad you were not injured. Me too. That was the worst they ever did to me, was pushing me down the stairs, because it was hard. It was like, you know, the guy really pushed me, and the stairs were really steep. And it was just like... <sighs> I mean, it just was really stunning. And it was, the interesting thing is like that weekend, they always pull it in. You know what I mean? It's like there's karma, right? And they, they always end up, like they pushed me down the stairs. And that weekend, we had been talking to Tom Cruise's dad. I mean, not Tom Cruise, Tom, Katie Holmes's dad. And that weekend, Katie Holmes, they got it all set up. She, you know, Tom Cruise was in Alaska and she left. She got out. That was it. And I thought, okay, fair deal. And everybody wanted to interview us in, in Ireland because it was the biggest st story. You know, Katie Holmes, you know, leaves Scientology and Tom Cruise. And it was like, whew, you know, good thing I lived. <laughs> I have a lot of guts thanks to my dad. I will always credit him with that. He, he taught me how to deal with bullies when I was a young girl. And he, he knew I was hanging around with God, you know, because I had two older brothers. So he said, look, you know, you got to learn about bullies. And the main thing he said, and I'll say it again, because someone just called me the other day and said, you know, that really rang true for me. And it's, um, he said, you could all, anyone who will sit down at a table with you is okay. It doesn't matter if they disagree with you very vehemently. As long as they'll sit down at the table with you, it's okay. It's the ones that won't sit down at the table with you. That's when they're bullies, you know, because they don't they don't want to work it out. 
They don't. And that's what happened to me with Scientology towards the end. I thought they don't want to hear it. They don't want to know it. They don't want to iron it out. They could. They could get all of us together and go, look, you know, we fucked up. We really screwed up. We've got to change this around. We want to restart Scientology, whatever. Now, probably most of us would go, good luck, and that'd be it, because we've just been there, done that. But they, they could try. They could try. But they, they don't. They just don't. Yep. Mad Rabbit Woman. I love that. Mad Rabbit Woman. Tori Magoo, one tough cookie. You kind of have to be in this world. You really do. Um... Oh, good. Okay, so she, she, Carrie was saying there's some tutorials that I can look at. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And that's from my mom and dad. I, I really credit them with it. They both were very strong people. I was just watching your 2000 Boston. <laughs> yep. Didn't think you'd be live tonight. Yeah. Well, I would. I wasn't. I actually wasn't going to be. But then I thought, no, wait a minute. They broke into my garage, and I so I typed it into DOA's uh, thing tonight. And the people on there said, no, no, go live. We we don't want to care. You know, he was listening to the thing about the celebrity and all that stuff. And they said, we don't care about that. Go live. <laughs> we want to talk about it. And I thought, okay, that's good. That's fair. So there you go. There you go, Osa. Wasn't going to do it, but you know what? These people are good people, and they were thinking about me, and I thank them for it. Um, someone buy her a camera. Let's make this easy. <laughs> DOA, here he is, the man about town. <laughs> well, it isn't a camera. It's um, a security camera. Oh, okay, so that's what you're saying, a security camera. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. I just have to find a good one and make sure I can afford it. I believe Scientology forgets that they trained the ex people that are protesting themselves. <laughs> they know the game. Good point. That is a very good point. Thank you, DOA, for saying that. I really appreciate it. I, I didn't acknowledge that because I always think, is that really DOA? Are you really here? But thank you. Thank you very much for saying that. I, I appreciate it. He's such a good guy. He's someone I'm very happy I met. Tori pulling out the gangster Chicago doesn't play. It's true. I'm from Chicago. And it's like, I told him. I mean, I, I honestly said, don't fuck with me. You know, you screw me once, I'll screw you twice every time. And I have. You know, I, they probably was, oh, no, they never, she never did anything. But they wouldn't still be coming after me if I wasn't doing nothing, would they? <laughs> now wait, what is this? We use Eufy cameras on our house, Tori. They're really good. Okay, let me write that down. Eufy. I don't know what that is. E U F Y. E U F Y cameras. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Here's DOA. What do you know? Here he is again. Yeah, ring ring cameras might be the best. Okay. Ring cameras. I don't write that down to ring cameras. I've heard about those. I think Spanky has a ring camera. I think they're pretty cool. You can see them on your phone, right? Um, good morning, DOA. Yeah. See, now you've got all your fans out here. DOA donation was made for cameras. Yeah. Somebody made a donation already tonight. So that was nice. I really appreciate that. DOA, are there any special requirements either by low law or by insurance companies regarding home security cameras? I'm unfamiliar with the U.S. law. Okay, that's a good question. I don't think so. I used to sell security. And uh, <clears throat> I don't think they have any uh, special requirements. Not that I know of. Hit the like button. Thank you, Mao Girl. I'm grateful you are here to inspire kindness towards those still in. 
Yeah, I do. I care about them. I do. You know, I, I know them and they're, I, I was one of them. You know what I mean? So I know they're not all horrible people. There's a lot of like Miscavige's. I think even Miscavige has probably got his own stuff that he's in, but he's pretty bad. You know, the, what, what he's done to a lot of people is pretty bad, but most of the people are just, they're in the Truman show. You know what I mean? That's it. And they can't see the walls. They really can. But now it's kind of cool. This is a thing that's kind of fun. There's a bunch of them that are still in, but they're out. And I've seen them at parties and they're like, yeah, no, we're done with it. But we, we still go on chorus a couple of times a week and stuff like that, just so the church still doesn't bug them. And I thought, oh, God, that's got to be driving Scientology nuts, trying to figure out who's in, who's out. You know, my, <laughs> it's interesting. Jessica needs Bailey. Oh, I see. She needs some kind of smoothies. Tonight? You're saying tonight or in general? Okay, good evening, Tori. Great interview with Natalie. Thank you. Yeah, I, she's really good. I really like her a lot. When we got along, great. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Thank you. So good, okay, Tori. I'm going to catch, catch her on her live. Okay, that's good. I like the security systems and cameras from Simply Safe. Ooh, that's another one to write down. Simply Safe. Okay, well, thank you. It, it helps me to have a couple of things where people are using them and they like them. A viewer has extra cameras and she is sending them to Jessica's P.O. box. Really? Wow. Already? Wow, that's cool. All right, good. Well, I should get one for, here's what I really want to get, is something for the garage, something for the back door, something for the front door, something for inside. You know, it's like I need a lot, I do, because I, I used to sell security, and I know, you know, how people can, you know, I know where you have to have stuff covered so that it's really covered. That was kind of fun, me selling security, because it was all engineers, all men, and me. And I was like Lucille Ball out selling security, but I was their top salesperson every week. I made more money than those, those engineers. And they would laugh at me, and I'd say, hey, you can laugh all you want, honey. I'm laughing all the way to the bank. You know, that name at the top of the list for the most money is mine. That's all that matters here. That's all we're doing here is selling security, helping people get safe, and making commission. And my commission is the most. So you can laugh all you want. Because they, they were all like big know-it-alls. I love that, Tori. I believe the same thing about most people being good and meeting them with that idea. Without judgment of them being a gang member or whatever. Yeah, it really makes a difference. It's it's amazing how much of a difference it is. I had a thing right around the corner from me here. There's a big uh, Burroughs High School. And I, it, this isn't the same kind of thing, but it was kind of neat, just showing what one person can do. I mean, it was a long time ago. It was in the 90s. But still, I walked around the corner and there was a kid on the ground and it was a kid, you know what I mean? It was like a teenager and they had him on the ground and all there were four policemen with, with big, huge bats and they were all, you know, like their, their batons and they were up in the air ready to smash the kid. And I just jumped in there and went, no, no. I said, you don't need to hit this kid. He's a kid. Stop it. Put your bats away. And they did. They all put their bats away. And I said, you can do what, you know, you can talk to him. You, you know, if you did something wrong, you can do it, but you don't need to hit him. You know, and it was it was really neat to see that. It was just like, no! You know, and I knew they were going to hit me. It was just like me on Easter talking to the cops. It's like people were like, you know, we can't trespass. And I'm like, give me a break. They owe me a million dollars. You know, I can trespass. This isn't trespassing for me until they pay me the million bucks. And it's kind of going up to two million now because I realized I have this permanent brain damage because of what they did to me with my memory and I have to live with it for the rest of my life. So $1 million is not going to do it. 
and that's it, Scientology. So it's really, it's really more like 10 million with punitive damages. So anyway, think about it. Just think about it. All right. Um, thank you though, Sophie. I'm glad. I, no wonder we like each other. Um, <laughs> this is a good one. Osa is going to draw Tiny Dave like one of the French girls because that ship is going down. Yep, you got that right. And that's one that I don't think he's seeing. The same thing happened with Hubbard. He didn't see it. He really didn't. I don't think so. All right, so wow, it's getting there. We're getting close. Thank you, Marla. Look here. This is this is the statistics. It's 178 to 240. So Bunch of people could still like it, but they may have left, you know, because it's also getting kind of late. It's an hour and a half. So anyway, if you did, if you can still like it, please do. If you if you already did, thank you for doing so. I appreciate it because it's and thank you for letting me know that also, because that that was cool to just even see it. That was really cool because on this thing, I can't see it. I can see how many people, but I can't see, you know, the likes or anything like that. All right, so, yeah, Marla. So thank you, Marla. Um, okay, let's see. Enjoyed watching, what is this? Enjoyed watching a three-part tour of Scientology locations in Hollywood. Not sure of the year, but love the drive down Sunset and seeing there was an SVS, a CVS parking lot where the target is now at a Western. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, that was Drew and I. That's the guy that I was with. Um, I, think, I think he came with me on Easter. Maybe not. No, I think maybe I went by myself. Um, but he came to the barbecue. That's what he did. He, he and I have been picketing forever. And um, I forgot what you said. What did you say? Oh yeah, he and I did the tour because he'd never seen, he was never in. He he arrived when Anonymous arrived and he started protesting when Anonymous was here. But then he and I started doing these flash pickets with a few other people, you know. So we, because Anonymous was, you know, this big deal and they would always set up when it was and where it was and Scientology would have huge barriers and it was just a pain in the ass. And I said, Let, let's do the anonymous stuff, but let's also do these flash pickets so we can just nail them when they're not expecting it. It was fun. It was really fun. So anyway, that's what happened there. And I took him around to show him the old building, Celebrity Center down on 8th Street. And we couldn't really even find the old AOLA. You know, a couple of the buildings weren't still there, but it was interesting to just see how funky the area was there. Hi, Tori. Someone from Danny and Leah's chat is arranging to get Oh my goodness. Now, wow. From Danny and Leah's chat are arranging to get security cameras to you via Jessica. Wow. Well, thank them. Please thank them for me. That, that's nice. I I really appreciate it. Wow. I mean, I, I really wasn't making this video thinking I was going to get security cameras at all. It kind of blows my mind. You guys are amazing. You really are. I mean, it, it's it's a very it's a very moving thing for me. It really is, especially having been in the cult for thirty years, where they they never helped me at all. You know, I mean, really, it was like you paid them and paid them and paid them, and it was like my friends would help me, but not much because they were all busy getting up the bridge themselves. And then um, Mark Plummer, who just passed away this year a few months ago. He was the first person to send me my dad's football card. I never knew. My brothers never knew. None of us knew he had football cards. And he has four of them. There's two of them for football and two of them for broadcasting. And he also paid, played for the Green, Green Bay Packers. And one of them is that. So, you know, it was kind of cool. It was like, here's this guy that doesn't know me at all on the Internet. And he, he helped me out. And then, you know, here I am now with you guys. It's like, I, I just wanted you to get an idea that they do this shit that we talk about, you know, and this happened last night. Do you know what I mean? And it's, and it isn't like, you know, somebody broke in because they would have ta taken a bunch of stuff that is still there. 
Please help Tori hit the like button. Okay, thank you, Maui girl. Okay, here we go. Here's something about Jeff Augustine. Walked around the Celebrity Center and it had a sign showing times for religious services. Yeah, I heard that. I know. Well, remember they said uh, about a week ago, I was there with DOA and they said, you know, we're having mass. So you guys have to be quiet because they're having a six hour mass. Well, I was raised a Catholic. You don't have, there is no six hour mass ever, anywhere in the world. They don't have a six hour mass. And so it was like, that's bullshit. And, you know, so DOA quickly went and became ordained as a minister because now he can use the, um, what do you call it? The, you know, the horn. He can talk through that because it's, all, I guess, only ministers can. So now he can. But anyway, now we're seeing more of their, they're creating their church thing of their religious services. It's such a joke. It's like Scientology. I helped start that back in the night in 1979 when you wanted me to handle Clearwater. And one of the things I said is you don't even look like a church. You know, everybody goes to course, but they, you don't have any religious services at all. And other people in the town were saying that. So then we started Sunday service. And that was, <clears throat> you know, it was okay. We kind of had a potluck and somebody spoke and stuff like that. But it, it's not really a Sunday service. So for now, now for them to say they're religious services, it's like, it's not going to work, Scientology. There's too many of us out here that know. And I know you're thinking, well, you just wait until we die. God, it's not going to work. It's too many. Tori, once monetized, you have to wait a few minutes before swearing. Oh, I said a joke or that's for real? I'll have to calm down on swearing. I'm sorry. Good morning from South Africa. My first live, love this. You are amazing, Tori. Ah, oh, well, that. thank you very much. You're home. Okay, so you already went to work and came back. Good. All right, 182 likes. We're getting there. 271 people, 182 likes. That's good. Tori's going to have as many security cameras as the cult. I need them. Do you know what I mean? It'll be so fun for me to have security cameras where I feel secure. You know what I mean? And I can see. Wait a minute. Who is that? You know what I mean? That kind of thing. It, it, that, that would be really fun because they do have a ton of them. That would be really fun. I, 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 that's amazing to me. I'm, I'm just stunned. I really am. It's like, I really wasn't making this thinking, well, these guys will buy me a camera. It's like, I didn't even <clears throat> have that on my mind. It was just, she, someone said, let's start a live talk and we can talk about it. And I thought, well, you know, I, I, I tell them about, you know, fair game and stuff like that, but this is a real example of it. You know, I think it'd be a good idea to do that. So that's what I did. But thank you. That's just really amazing if it happens. I'm, I'm still kind of if it happens because it's kind of like, really? Studies have shown that people who swear are more honest than those that don't. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, you're damn right. <laughs> okay, that's good. About 191 likes. All right, we're moving up in the ladder. That's good. I liked Rain Man mainly because of Dustin Hoffman. Yeah, he he was a he's excellent in that. And you know, I met him, and this is a funny story. He what's what's the old movie that he made? One of his older movies. It's where he he changes all these different identities. I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, I'm at Scientology sent me down to the the, the um, courthouse. And they said, look, this lady's in there and she's telling all these horrible things and we don't want anyone to hear it. So you go there and just make sure nobody gets in. I said, okay. So I'm in there. And frankly, she was telling kind of horrible things about pushing her kids out the window. And, you know, it was, it was really awful. <clears throat> I think her kids got on the stand and talked about that, that she'd pushed her out. They'd push, she'd pushed them out the window. <clears throat> and then I knew her, she was an OT. You know what I mean? And it's sort of like, oh my God. 
So I go out in the hall and I'm dressed in a suit and Dustin Hoffman, and oh, I know what happened. The girls all started rustling around and I used to sell jewelry in the courthouse to the girls. So I know when they're rustling around, something's, something exciting is happening. So I said, what's up? You know, what's going on? And they said, oh, Dustin Hoffman just came in the courtroom, the courthouse. So he's coming down the, you know, our, our thing. I said, okay, cool. So I went out in the hall and he goes, hey, you know, how are you? And I said, I'm good. I'm good. I really love, I love your movies. And I can't remember the name of the one. <clears throat> it's one where he changes all these makeup changes in it. It's an old, it's an older movie. And I named it, and I said, yeah, that's one of my favorites. And he goes, wow, that's really an old one. And he was really happy about that. He said, so you're an attorney? And I said, no, I'm not. I'm I'm just here, you know, with a friend of mine. That's all. It's really boring stuff. You don't want to, don't waste your time there. There's nothing to learn. And so he went on his way, you know, so that was that. That's That was me meeting Dustin Hoffman. Huh? But what a trip. I forget what you said that mentioned it. Let's see. Oh, I liked Rain Man mainly because of him. Yeah. I know he's a great actor. He really is. Uh... <laughs> All right. Here's this person. I'll just leave that. <laughs> All right. Anyway, <clears throat> 50 of you need to visit the Thumbs up, please. Aw, thank you, love it. I appreciate you guys. Now there's 20, 200 likes. All right, now we're really close. It's 270, that's wonderful. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit this blue thing. Wait, Confident Chris, please help Tori set up. What are you saying? Please help Tori. No, she's she's that that's okay, confident Chris. You don't have to because um Love It is gonna be here Friday. That's what she was saying. She'll she'll help me with that. But thank you for asking him. Um I wonder if that was before he got into the cult. Dustin Hoffman? He's not in the cult. Rainmaker. No. No, that wasn't that wasn't the one I was thinking of. But he, he's not in the cult. You're thinking of Frank Stallone, I think. He is. I don't think he still is. He, he was for a brief time. Anyway, unless, unless he joined recently, I agree about her extreme sensibility, but you left out the badass part. <laughs> the whole ex-Scientology package. Sensibility and badass. You kind of have to do, be a badass to, you know, to make it, to leave Scientology and make it because they, they're creepy. Okay, here we go. Kiko, that's what I think. My name is pronounced Keiko. Okay, like the abbreviation for comp company, Keiko. I'm from Japan, but we moved to the U.S. when I was two and a half years old. Wow, that's cool. I I love Japan. I taught my son when he was two. I was teaching him Japanese and how to speak Japanese. I know Ohio Gazimas and yeah, you know, a few things. Um, and then I love the the drawing of how you write and or the Japanese too. And then when my dad was from Japan and my mom was from Okinawa from Hawaii. Wow. That's amazing. I love that it's such an international group. <clears throat> okay, here's Love It saying it's her pleasure monetization and amortization am wish list. There you go. Okay, good. So Okay, so I think you guys got it. Ozzy Oldie here. Okay. So sorry, Tori, that this is happening again. Yes, petty theft is their thing. Uh, damaging cars on and on. I also had aha moment about a nuance, a, a nuance person. 
<clears throat> I think that's what you mean, the nuance person. I don't know what the, I don't know what kind of keep strong, love for it. Okay, thank you. I will, I will. But you guys definitely help. There's no question. I need some LED signs. That's true. I really do want to get some of those LED signs. That, that, thank you for mentioning that. That I mean, I don't need them right away. I, obviously, I need the security cameras first. But at some point, I, I, I really, that's one of the things for our wish list. So uh, love it, is um, LED signs because they, they really are cool. Like DOA has them in his, the front of his van. And then uh, Jessica got one that somebody sent her that you can write anything you want. And so she wrote, uh, honk if you think, so, if, honk if you think it's a cult. And it took a while to get people honking. And I said, add Scientology. I was telling you to add Scientology because we used to do that. We, we we were up in Hollywood and we had honk if you think Scientology is a cult. And people were honking and honking and honking. I mean, finally, the cops came and said, you can't do that anymore. I said, why not? It's free speech. And they said, I know, but it's also noise pollution. And really, you just can't. I'll have to ticket you if you do. So that's what happened with us. But I think you could do it, you know, in different neighborhoods. I think it'd be fun. And Sophie, you're so sweet. Both of you, you two are so cute. Thank you for helping Tori. Yes, thank you both. Thank all of you, really. You're, you're a great group of people. And here's a wonderful compliment. Love it. Uh, uh, yeah, love it. If I, come on. <clears throat> You're an awesome mod. Thank you so much. I agree. She's she's a good lady. Okay, good. So she said she's gonna. She doesn't know Drifter Shelley. She said I don't know what those are, but I'll research it and put it on the wish list. Thank you. Okay, good. Now, when you say he's already in hiding, isn't he? Who are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know who he is. Yeah, I like the Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh. Yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis could play you now. But, oh, I see Kristen can play you when you were still in Scientology when I was younger, the younger me. Cool. Yeah, I love Jamie. I, I think she's all the time. <clears throat> I, I hope you get there someday. It's an incredible place. Yeah, me too. For a few of these different places. Uh, that's very sweet. Very sweet. Oh, <laughs> the OG SP queen. <laughs> he isn't hiding. He's just really short. And you can't see him. Give me Miss scavenge. <laughs> I, I love years ago when he was going to talk in Clearwater and they had to get him up on some boxes and stuff. It was really fun. He's very tiny. Thank you. Someone Spartacus likes my necklace. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a kind of a necklace girl. Okay, here it is. Uh, love it. I absolutely adore seeing this new protest moment with Tori in full support and hearing everything she has to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. I I'm I feel very honored to be part of it. I really do. It's it's kind of it kind of just friend Andreas is the one that or Andrew is the one who actually got me to even look at Jessica, you know, and I, I would have never seen it. And he said he called me up and he said, type in TikTok, type in Jessica Bombadessa, see it. And I said, you know, I don't do TikTok. And I'm not going to do it. And he goes, Tori, I drive by there every day because he lives in Hollywood and he drives an Uber and he sees Jessica and he said, you have got to go see this. It'll blow your mind. And it did. I saw her going, do you think that you're scaring me or intimidating me by filming me? I have, I think it was like, what, 20 million followers or something. I forget how many she had. Two million. It was like a, a bunch. And she said, and they're all watching you right now. And then she just walks into the testing center. I went, oh my God, this is so great. I laughed. I laughed. I fell in love with her right there. I just thought, I love this person. She's so great. And then I met Streets 
I mean, I didn't really meet him. I watched him online and saw the two of them and it was really great. And then I met confident Chris and, and, you know, it just kind of grew, you know, it was sounded like I was watching them. And then I said to Drew, let's go over there on a Friday night or Saturday. We, we, I said, let's see if we can find the kids. So we're driving around and we went to the testing center nothing there. We went by CC, nothing there. So I said, let's go to the complex. So we drive down the complex and all of a sudden we see the whole group of kids. I said, there they are. And we pulled up and, you know, we just had a great conversation with them. It was just really fun. And I said, I, you know, I don't know anything about this, this live streaming. And Jessica said, well, I'll come over and show you. And she did. She came over and she had, she's very professional. I mean, talk about together. I mean, she's really together. So anyway, she filmed it and we did an interview and, you know, she had two cameras. So one was filming me and one was her different people asking questions and then I'd answer them, you know. So anyway, that was the beginning of it. But it, it just was so amazing how it escalated, you know, just so quick. And probably for all of you, too, you know, because it was just like a few people. I mean, it was Jessica and Streets and then Confident Chris and then Chris Without a Hellcat, who vanished now. Come back, Chris Without a Hellcat. No, no you didn't route out, so you don't have an excuse to leave. Um, and then DOA showed up, which was really fun, and Lara FM and Mindy. And it was just sort of like Danny and just different people. You know, it just started growing and really fast. I mean, it's, um, they have to be freaking out because it's, it, it is growing so big. It's amazing. Anyway. Yeah. Spartacus says he loves that interview with DM because he was so squirmy. Yeah. Yeah. Wi-Fi is easy to jam. Okay. What does that mean? Okay, definitely get security cam, wired if possible. Wi-Fi is easy to jam. Yeah, I don't know if I want wired though. I've sold security cameras. I know the difference. I think, but we'll see. I'm not going to say because of course, OS is watching this and I'm not going to give him any tips. Um, okay, these guys are talking to each other. I'm not a night owl, just a regular owl staying up late. Oh, that's very sweet. Well, thank you for staying up late. We appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys. All right, so now I think we're almost down to Sophie's a night owl. All right, I'm working the night shift. I'm so glad I caught you live. Medic on the move. Wow, that's cool. That's how I became a night owl. My grandfather was a doctor. And I was a little kid and I would say, look, if you, because he had one of those little black bags and he'd go house to house. And I, I said, if you ever have night calls, wake me up and I'll come with you. And so he'd go, all right, come on, come on, get, get up, get up. And I've always been able to get dressed in like 10 minutes because my brothers were always like, either you're ready in 10 minutes or we're out of here. That's it. So I'm like a fireman. You know, I can just like head to toe hair, makeup, everything. I, I'm ready. You know, that's it. And, uh, so he'd always come, come on, let's go. And I'd get all dressed and off we'd go. So that's medic medic on the go. That sounds on the move. That sounds cool. Anyway, I'm glad you, you caught us. Yeah. Hi from Perth, Australia. Ooh, Australia, I love it. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's nice to meet you too. Sorry I'm being goofy. It's just late. I got to go to bed pretty soon. Um, Blink brand cameras are the cheaper of the Amazon brand. No frills, but much more affordable. Okay, I'll write it down. Thank you. Every Everything, and you can always, this is my thing that DOA and Laura set up for me. You can always email me this, but just please put why, like YouTube, and then the subject in the subject line so that I I see it do that first because I get so much spam I hardly ever even check email all right did you see the conversation Laura had with several yeah I did I did this is this is what she's saying did you see 
Nellie officers at the Blue Building last night. The officers showed the permit to have the road closed and then called CFS to turn down the music. That was amazing. It was to see them just make one call and there went the music, you know, because they have this whole thing where if they're playing music, these guys have to mute their phones or they apparently this it's a copyright thing where if we put it up on YouTube, then it's a violation. So now the policeman just made one phone call and there you go. It's gone. It's like, wow. Amazing. Morning from Scotland again. Ah, hello. Good morning. What in tarnation? Okay. Cult investigate. The CIA is the the cult investigation agency. Uh, Okie doke. My mailbox had all the screws removed from the the base. It's not damaged. The cheap mailbox. Yet I suspect my Scientology neighbors did it. I'd go ask them. If I had neighbors and all my, I would, I'd go ask them. I'd say, you know, I know you guys probably aren't going to admit this, but I'd like to know. Did you by any chance take the screws out of my mailbox? It, you know, it's worth it to just see how they react. But then on the other hand, you don't want to get them as an enemy because that they can be even worse. So maybe not. <coughs> Excuse me. Were you able to have a, a cell or a paper, a pager back then? Um, you mean when I was in Scientology? No. It wasn't that I wasn't able. I just think in the 90s, I don't know, we just didn't have them. We didn't. Um, were you able to go buy socks or brazers? I wasn't in the Sea Org, so I bought all kinds of stuff because I worked, and then whatever I wanted to buy, I bought. So... There you go on that. But um, as far as the I, cell phone, I, if anything, we had a flip phone. It was just a little phone. It was like an emergency phone. I remember that. That's all we had was the emergency phone. And we kept in our car or something, but it wasn't anything. In the 90s, people didn't use their phones. I don't think. I really don't. I don't think it was just Scientologists who didn't. I, I just don't think it was the technology had not evolved like it is now. What does gaslighting really mean? Watch the movie Gaslight. It's on YouTube and you can watch it and that will tell you. I'm not going to tell you. It's You really need to get educated on it. I love my fellow night owls. Me too. Me too. Thank you. All right. And I think this GN means question. Tori, do you know that ARS archives are accessible? Yeah, I do. Chrisman is a runaway housewife. Some new friends. She met over the internet, promised her an exciting new life. Okay, so do you know that the, yeah, I do. But I mean, I have made over 900 videos and some of them are proving that that is completely, I mean, why are you quoting their shit? You know, that's their shit. I, of course I know that it's there. Crispin is a runaway housewife. Even Scientology took that down because I went around to the orgs every week and said, all right, if I'm a runaway housewife, first of all, after 26 years, you're not a runaway bride. That's what they tried to say at first. She's a runaway bride. I said, how can I be a runaway bride if I was married for 26 years? So then they changed it to a runaway housewife. And then that was having an affair. And I said, all right, show me who I had an affair with. I want to meet him. And I just kept going every week, asking different staff. I want to find out who, I'm a, who I had an affair with. I really did. I wanted to find out. And they finally took it off. So that's gone. But this is the old stuff. And then some new friends she met over the internet promised her an exciting new life. No one ever promised me an exciting new life. So that is not true either. You know, it's like, that is completely twisted. So, okay, it's up there. It, that doesn't mean it's true. It isn't. 
And yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be around. And your name is Justin Maxwell. Okay. I will remember that Justin Maxwell because I always remember people who only quote old shit. And I just think, why would you do that? I mean, what's the point of that? It's, it's false. It's not true. I've explained it many times that it isn't true. And, and even Scientology has taken it down. So why are you dragging it up now? What, what's the point of that? It's very interesting, Justin Maxwell. It, it, it doesn't read well for me. For years, Scientology has used the cameras to hold their own people captive and keep critics away. I think that's true. I do. They, you know, they've got those cameras everywhere. I think that's true. Sounds like I've missed a lot. What the hell happened? <laughs> Somebody broke into my garage and uh, you can watch the video on it. I hope we delivered. <laughs> You hope we delivered is we who is we you have to define we so far i'd have to say no you didn't deliver okay question do you think a site a scientist uh, probably a scientologist might be more willing to talk to us if we begin the conversation asking them if they agree that miscavige ruined everything no no because that, then you're immediately labeled a suppressive person i mean right off the bat you know you're better i think it's better to start out with you know how do you feel about free speech i, I i've heard that you guys are really for freedom so tell me you know how do you feel about that and really have a conversation you know what i mean okay okay so you believe in free speech and that's oh definitely okay so um, if I had a video that I wanted you to watch, would you watch it? And they would probably say, oh, sure. Yeah, we'll watch anything. Okay. Well, let's set up a time when you can watch it. You know, and you've got to find something that is in between. You know what I mean? I would say do going clear because that's a really good video that kind of really nails the whole thing. And uh, have them see it and say, sit with them and watch it with them. I doubt if they would, but, you know, I'd start with something a little less than David Miscavige because, you know, that's just, you know, if they agree that Miscavige ruined everything, I mean, that's a big leap for somebody that is in Scientology to ask them that. They, they haven't probably faced that themselves. So you've got to get them, move them up to that point. Do you see what I mean? Like my brother for years would say, you know, Tori, you and I are only a year apart, but I only know one person who's dead. And every time I talk to you, another one of your Scientology friends is dead. That's all he'd say. He wouldn't say anything else. He would never bring up Miscavige, you know, because it would have been immediate. I can't talk to you anymore. That's it. Just immediate disconnection. So you've got to like plant little seeds. Do you see what I mean? That they just just like Andreas, it was like, well, when I said if I if I ever leave, I, I won't I lose my husband and all my friends. I don't know if my soul can take it. And he wrote me back and he said, you know, I'm really crying reading your email. I'm so sorry you're going through this, but I have to ask you this one question. What kind of friends would those be if could those be if they would leave you because you change your mind? Now, do you see, that has nothing to do with David Miscavige, but it has everything to do with me. And it, it really hit home. It really cracked my Truman Show in half. I mean, it was big. So that's why I'm saying leave Miscavige out of it because that, that's farther down the line. Ooh, 244 and 270 likes. Thank you, Drifter. Let me see. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for showing us that. All right, question. Before he died, Sonny Bono said Scientology made it. Made it N-E? I don't know what N-E is. I don't know. You have to rephrase that so that it's a sentence because I don't know what you mean. 
and I, I'm not going to guess. Um, Martha, okay, question. Continued, oops, do you know how Scientology made it really unpleasant for Sonny Bono to leave Scientology in 1991? Continued, oops, do you know how Scientology made it really unpleasant for Bono to leave? No, I don't. If you do, tell us. All right, and here's CC, I love it, and CC equals confident Chris. Oh, okay. Oh, I see, because you said CC before. Thank you. Okay, now I get it. Yeah, confident Chris. Okay, good. I didn't know he was CC. That's good. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Tori, do you have your trash cans in the garage? I pre No. I predict a trash war after the amazing stuff found in Chicago's CFS's dumpster. Lots of love to our dear Tory from Dave from Winchester, UK. All right. No, I, they're not in the garage. They're out in the driveway. And uh, that's where they're going to stay. They're not going to be in my garage. There's no room for them in the garage. Okay, let's see. Do you remember who Doug Kramer is? Of course I do. Yeah, he and I were just going to do an interview and then he passed away. It was really too bad. He's a wonderful guy. Um, I've been a regular in all other chats and love watching Tori on them. No clue why I haven't watched before. Shame on me. Nah, it's not shame on you. I'm happy you came. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, thank you for coming. This is my midnight with Magoo. Because I, I, I figure everybody already is saying stuff during the day, and it's pretty crowded as it is. So that's why I started midnight with Magoo. And plus, I'm a night owl. And I thought, maybe there's some other night owls, and it turns out there are. Question, do you think these new protests might uh, change the way OSA does things, and they'll be less creepy? I think they will change the way they do things they already have, but they aren't less creepy. No, no. I think if anything, they're, you know, like the swatting, that's pretty creepy. And that's Osa. So, you know, are they going to get less? I doubt it. I really do. I, I think they're going to go down before they get less. Yeah, they're, 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 they have a pretty dark side, and a lot of people don't know it. That's why I made this video. I thought, you know, this is a real thing that happened. <clears throat> and I want people to get. This stuff happens, and they do it. And it's creepy. Making dinner, but I'm watching. All right, mini angel. Okay. Easter 211. Okay, you're talking to him. These guys are talking to each other. Don't worry. Technology is challenging for younger people, too. I know. That's what I told my brother. I said, you know, we're older, but it's hard for everybody. You know, and now we've got AI coming up. Oh, my God. You know, he's working on that for some fun stuff. And <clears throat> someone else I know is working on some AI stuff. So I'm like, well, it's coming. It's coming. It's going to be a big difference. For this asking about Doug, here are some cool edits of his work. Oh, thank you. Love it. Here you go. So if any of you guys want to copy that, I'll leave it up there for a minute so you can copy it. Can you just type in Doug Kramer and it'll come up in Google? Because usually it does. Anyway, that, there's something from, from Love It. Thank you. Your brother and your son must be super proud of you for all the wonderful work you've been doing and for simply being a kind, caring down-to-earth person. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> I think they are. I, I know my son is for sure. He's very proud of me. My brother has his own thing that's amazing in itself. I mean, he's been traveling around the world for his entire adult life. He left Chicago in, in the 70s, and he has been trekking around the world and just has an amazing life. I would really love for him to do a YouTube site or <clears throat> you know, write a book, but he's he's busy doing his DJing and he's in bands and 
<clears throat> traveling and he's just a wild and crazy guy. But um, I think we're all proud of each other, all three of us, you know, and my older brother too. We're, we're all, we're a good group. You know, we're, I, I think my parents would be really, really happy with us. And my, and David, the younger older brother has a son also, and he's really cool too. So it's a good group of people. It is. Uh, okay. So here's this. Uh, Doug was awesome. He, he really learned, loved, and respected Tori. He said, I cried on her shoulder when he was protesting. Aww. I know. <clears throat> he was a wonderful person. I really, it was, it was, I was so happy to talk to him. And then we were going to do that interview and then he died. It was like, oh. Okay, this person said, Scientology does love motivating you to keep going for sure. Okay. We miss McGew. We, we miss McGew. Okay. All right. You still have, you still have the Chicago accent. Really? Everyone tells me I don't. So I, you're the first person who said that, that I had a Chicago accent. Ah, oh, this is well. Tori's doing marvelously well, both as a content creator and as an activist, tech wise. Cool. That's good. That's good to know. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, you can get a 30, 360 camera that is a motion sensor and alerts you on your phone. Ooh, even a ring camera. Mine is a T Link one. Okay, so is it called Ring Camera or T-Link? Okay. I wrote it down. It's another possibility. Thank you. Here's this. You can record anything on your own property. Oh, cool. All right. Gotta love you all. Thank you, General Boa. Sophie, why does Truman believe? Right, let's see. Why does Truman believe? Because we expect the reality of the world with which we are presented. Mm. Okay. I, I think it's better that it's, it, he was so isolated and insulated, just like Scientology, that you, he couldn't see the walls. Remember at the end, he, he, you know, you remember the ending, right? And that was, that, that's different than, um, because we expect the reality of the world in which we are presented. I think that's true, what you're saying. But I, don't, I think Truman, it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit, stronger because he's so isolated and insulated and he thinks this is his world that's all he thinks you know maybe you're that's what you're saying but anyway to me it it, it really helps show what scientology is i nicknamed you not even zero fuck story <laughs> after a vietnamese attitude thing of don't even ignore them for a reason you care about the relevant stuff but you don't but you don't care about irrelevant stuff. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. And this is Match Mir Dakoga. I nicknamed you not even, not even zero fuck story. <laughs> After a, a Vietnamese attitude thing of don't even ignore them for a reason. When you care about the relevant stuff, you don't have to care about irrelevant stuff. That's a really good point. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out because I think that's very true. And I think it's important for all of us, you know, to keep your attention on the important things and the other stuff, let it go because DOA is really good at that. Okay, now here's my security camera is the neighbor's yard pointing to my house. Their house is protected by my camera. Well, that's pretty cool. That's YRB. Okay. I was just looking at Simply Safe, something where they will come to install. Oh, that'd be nice. That, that would be really good. Thank you. You can always email me and let me know if you get more information. 
um, you being a top salesman does not surprise me at all. <laughs> well, you know, it, it, see, the thing is, I'm not really a salesperson. I'm an educator. And that's the difference. And if you educate someone enough and they need something, they'll get it. That That's the difference. You know, where salespeople try to pound people and, uh-huh, I'm picturing Lu Lucy and Ethel eating the chocolate on the conveyor belt. Exactly. That's how I felt. I mean, it was really unbelievable. The first night, did I ever tell you the story? of? Well, anyway, I'll tell it to you another night, but it's remind me to tell you because it's really funny about me and the first night selling security and what happened. You're generally kind and know your stuff. That's great for sales. Thank you. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, the, you have to admit the engineers knew way more than I did on this security system. But that was their downfall because they knew too much. You know what I mean? They'd walk in and start throwing out these terms and people go, oh, we have to think about it. And I'd sit down with them and say, how do you feel about security here at your house? And they'd say, well, we're kind of worried about it. And I'd say, all right, well, why don't you show me around your house and tell me what areas you're concerned about? And then I'd map out a little thing and then I'd add it up and I'd, and I'd close them on it. I'd say, Let, let's get this for you and then you'll be secure. And the only people that didn't were like older people who just said, I can't afford it. And I'd say, do you have kids? And I'd say, yeah, I have a daughter. She's on the East Coast. And I'd say, okay, can you give me your phone number? I'll call her up. And I'd call them up and I'd say, look, this is Tori. I'm here with your mom. And you've really got two choices at this point because your mother's older and she's all by herself. So you can either move out here and live with her or you can give me your credit card and we'll watch her for $35 a month. And I explained the system and everything else. And they go, here's our credit card. You know, it worked every time. It was really great. I don't think I had anybody say, I think we'll move out there with our mom. <laughs> I was like, no, here's the credit card. <laughs> Love what you're doing. Watch you on Natalie's and others' channels. First time viewer here. Oh, well, thank you, Beth. That's I appreciate you coming. Love from Australia. Oh, do you know Dave Gibbons? He's my friend from Australia that I just dearly love. Um, welcome. Please subscribe. That's right. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun here. We do. We have a, It's a good thing. Good morning to all from the Netherlands again. All right. It's the Hildebrand Show. Here we are. Woo! Hi. Uh, John Hildebrand was the guy who got me in Scientology, so that's why I make a big deal about that. They They're not related, but I was hoping because I haven't found him in a long time. Watching from Texas, I can't sleep. Oh, four, seven, eight. And the other thing is count. The other thing I do is count. Well, first I do the alphabet from the alphabet backwards and deep breathing at the same time. And if you do that, you pretty much you're going to go to sleep. But if you don't, the other thing you can do is start from 100 and count down by sevens. And unless you're really good at math, in which case it'd be nothing. But for me, I always go to sleep on that. I get to maybe the 90s or the 80s and I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I'm glad you came by for now. Hell slay. Hell oit slay. Okay. Do you check your YouTube studio app to check all your channel stats? I love using it. I'm just starting to. I just learned about it recently and I'm starting to and it yeah, it's really cool. It's kind of amazing. Um I I was just watching anonymous content. Yeah, they they were <clears throat> you mean anonymous now or anonymous back in the day when they were doing Scientology. Love from Cajun country. Hello. Hi, Tori. Love your stories. Love, love from Australia. Thank you. Hello, Gwen from the UK. Keep posting your thoughts and your story. It is important. Thank you so much, Howard. I appreciate that. It's really kind. Um, I love that someone sent you their... I know. That was so great. She did. I'll show you. She sent me... He said, I'm going to send you something. And it came in the mail. And here it is. She found it on the net. 
and send it to me. It's a picture of my dad. Isn't that sweet? You know, it's like, especially because he passed away at 51. So I love memories of my dad. I love meeting people who knew him. It's really fun. Um, who do they worship? <laughs> Are you kidding? Scientology, they don't worship anybody. That's the thing. That's why when Tommy Davis said, you're invalidating my faith, I was like, your faith? Your faith in what? You know, L. Ron Hubbard, John, you know, David Miscavige. I mean, they don't have faith. They don't have work. They don't worship. They don't have, they try to say they have these religious services. They don't, you know, they, even if they do, they're just phony. We know they are because their tech has none of it. Hubbard said on OT3, he said, you know, there's no churches, there's no angels, no Jesus. All of that is just an implant. It's implanted. You know, it's bad news. That, that's what he thought. Luckily, I had my earlier Catholic upbringing. Scientology worships Lord Zini. No, it's Zinu. Get it straight if you're going to say it. <laughs> Hi, Tori. Who is this? Oh, it's four. It's 44 a.m. here. No, it's 5.44. Okay. You got to get some sleep. Okay. Yeah. I think we all do. I have to go to bed too. So it, there's still a ton of stuff, but I, I've got to get down here. Um, I've got to get to the end. I've got to laugh at the cult using the word mass. I know. It is. Isn't that funny? It's very ironic. If you know the tech, that, that's a good point. Let's save questions, et cetera, for Tori. Okay, yeah, i got to get my beauty sleep. You're right. All right, I'm going to hit the new comments, and then we're going to just take a few and then go. Good morning, Magoo. Good morning. Following you from the Netherlands, a big fan. I found you so brave. Ah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh, okay, it was the anonymous Scientology. So that's called Chenology, just so you know. That's the name that they made for Because anonymous is like a pie. And a section of it took on Scientology. And that section is called Chenology, just so you know. Um, I sleep to YouTube's no ads. Purring cat and crackling fireplace or no? Oh, that sounds pretty, doesn't it? Crackling fireplace. Ooh, I love that. Let's get Tori monetized. Yes. I love that. I stand alone. I love that name. That's a good name. Thank you for saying that. I think we will because um, Love It is coming here this week. And then, uh, wait, I got to get that undone. How do I do that? There we go. And then I think we will. I hope we will. When you think about it, Tiny Dave is like Willy Wonka. Okay, anyway. Standalone, excellent and concise way to put it. I say glass, go to explain it. Whereabouts are you? I'm in Knightswood. Ooh. T link is the motion sensor. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good night, Tori, and love it. Thanks for the live. Okay, thank you guys. Let's say good night. And uh, thank you all for coming. It was wonderful being with you. Saying hello from Washington. Everyone sleep well. Thank you. All right, good night.